Hi, it's Robert Murray and welcome to this week's Leadership Minute. And the topic that I've got this week is one that keeps coming up when um, I'm coaching various executives in different parts of the world, which is effective delegation. And it seems to be something that a lot of leaders struggle with. Uh, very few that I've ever worked with have actually mastered uh, the whole art of delegation. And at the end of the day, you know, there was a quote that I heard years and years ago that if you don't have an assistant, then you are the assistant. Well, does that mean that you have, everybody has to go out and get an executive assistant? No. What it does mean, though, is whether you have people reporting to you or not, there are resources within your organization, small, medium, and large, where you have people who've got skills that are way better than the skills that you have. And you should be always looking to who is the very, very best to be doing this job? So that's one thing, it's sort of a mindset. Should I be doing this? Is this the best use of my time? So let's just say you happen to make 50, 100, 200, or in some cases, I exec executives I work with, it's multiple hundreds of dollars per hour. When you look at their total compensation that they, that they earn in a year, should they be doing work for that kind of money? And the answer is often no. So then who else in the organization is better prepared or better skilled to be doing that? And so it's really just a mindset thing and, and looking at who is the very best. You also have to be really careful about ego. Is it your ego that gets in the way that prevents you from delegating uh, work or projects or certain parts of a project? Uh, often it is because we as leaders think there's nobody who can do this better than I can. Um, so you really have to be looking at, okay, well, what is, again, the best use of my time? Who should be doing this? And is my ego getting in the way of anything that I'm trying to get done here? Uh, the other thing to remember is that as a leader, you are not responsible for results. You're responsible for the people who are responsible for results. And doing so, your job is to get things done with and through the other people. So delegation is something that you should have a serious look at and uh, are you not delegating? Are you holding back? And in doing so, you're holding back not only yourself, but you're also holding back your team, your department, maybe even the entire business by not making sure that the right people are doing the job. That's it for this week. Um, stay tuned. There'll be more and more videos coming at you. Uh, and as we dive into various subjects to do with, uh, you know, like getting the stuff done.